The Aura Ring is a sleep tracker that has been gaining in popularity and as the name suggests it's in the form of a, of a ring. Now a lot of famous people have started using it as well and even one of my favorite YouTubers Matt Diavella has been using it to track his sleep. So to better help me track my sleep uh, I'm going to be using one of these Aura Rings. In this video I test the sleep prediction accuracy of the Aura Ring by comparing it against a professional scientific EEG monitor. So is the Aura Ring really as good at predicting your sleep as the company behind it suggests? So we're now actually at the second generation Aura Ring, but this is what they had to say about their first generation. The first Aura Ring is the best wearable on the market in the measurement of sleep and recovery. And they claim that the latest model Aura Ring outperforms the first one. It is even more accurate, it has more processing power, it has more memory. For 18 nights, I compared the Aura Ring against a professional sleep EEG monitor. And to summarize, I should say, no, the Aura Ring does not perform as well as advertised. I think for less money, you can get better sleep trackers. Let me use this video to show you why. Let's take a small step back first. The mission of Aura is to help people lead a better life. And they want to do that by optimizing their sleep and their activities. Or in their own words. Right from the start, the mission was to help people to unleash their full potential and that's where we succeeded. Wearing the new ring will shout out a positive signal that I am unique, I care about myself, and I know the importance of sleep and recovery. I want to be unique too. You are cutting edge. You are new. You are fresh. Women want to be with you. Men wish to harm you. But the fool who dares challenge you shall be crushed. Oh, and one more thing. Don't look now! Okay, maybe that last part was from How I Met Your Mother. Sven! Sven! So I have to admit, the Aura Ring is a simple, elegant and unobtrusive tracker. But all of that doesn't really matter if it doesn't give you reliable data. Okay, just wait one sec. Much better. So I actually tested the Aura Ring's prediction accuracy by comparing it against a professional sleep EEG device. So one of these sleep EEG devices actually measures your brain waves. So I attach all these electrodes to my head and to my face. And then I can measure my brain waves. And with these, you can get an accurate estimate of your sleep patterns. And these I compare to my Aura Ring. Now the Aura Ring, on the other hand, uses movements and heart rates to measure your sleep patterns. So something very different. A little bit of background might be good. You might be wondering, why do I have access to these professional sleep EEG devices? I'm actually a postdoctoral researcher and I specialize in data analysis. And as a side project for the last two years, I've been tracking my sleep in collaboration with people from the Donners Institute. So that's an institute that specializes in the brain and also in sleep. And in that way, I've also been able to compare my sleep data to the data I've been getting from the Aura Ring. So this is the output I get in the morning from the Aura Ring on my iPhone app. So indeed, it tries to predict my awake, REM, light and deep sleep time. And it plots it in this graph that is called a hypnogram. So over time, you see in which of the sleep stages I was. So here you see I started awake according to the aura ring, went into some light sleep, some deep sleep, some light sleep again, had some deep and light sleep, went into REM sleep, and so on. What we want to do is compare this data to the data from our professional sleep EEG device. So in order to do that, I downloaded all my aura ring data and loaded it into my programming language. And in that programming language, I can make similar plots. So that's what I made here. So for the same night, I made the exact same plot and I can use that data to make that comparison. So let's also pull up the data from the professional sleep EEG monitor. On the bottom, we see the same plot as we just saw. So these are the sleep stages of the aura ring for that one night over time. But this time it's compared to the professional sleep EEG monitor. So that's plotted here on top. And we do see that the aura ring gets some things right. So for this night, I began awake, I went into light sleep, and then I had some deep sleep. And this is what the aura ring and the professional EEG monitor see. The aura ring also picks up on the deep sleep I had here. It picks up on some of this REM sleep. But at the end of the night, you do see that the aura ring makes a few mistakes. So let's take another example night. That's plotted here. And what you do see again is that I was awake at first according to the professional EEG monitor, was in light sleep, went into deep sleep, and then went through some REM cycles. The aura ring indeed picks up on this deep sleep, but it fails to pick up on any of the REM stages. But let's see how it is overall. Now to clarify what that means, basically each night was divided into segments of 30 seconds. And for each of those segments, the aura ring had to say, was I in light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep, or was I awake? 
Now we did the same thing with the professional EEG monitor and then I compared the two and I get a percentage of correctly predicted segments. If we look at it over all nights combined, we see that the Aura Ring gets a prediction accuracy of 58.9%. I was also wondering if this percentage is roughly the same for each night or if it varies a lot between nights. Now, that's what I've plotted here. Each blue dot is one of the nights and they're connected with black lines. And you see there are some really good nights like here one at 68% and there's a bad one here at about 46%. But overall there's not a huge amount of variation. So most of them are pretty close to this average prediction accuracy of about 58.9%. Let's dive a little deeper into what mistakes the Aura Ring actually makes. First I want to look at what percentage for each of the sleep stages are predicted by both the Aura Ring and the professional sleep EEG device. And here we see the percentages for each of the sleep stages side by side for both devices. So on the left, the professional sleep EEG and on the right, the Aura Ring. And what we see first of all is that over all nights, the Aura Ring predicts too much deep sleep, about 7% too much. It predicts a little bit too little light sleep. It predicts way too little REM sleep and much too much time awake. But let's now see which sleep stages it actually gets confused. So is it for instance the case that all the REM sleep it is lacking is actually being predicted as deep sleep or as time awake? Let's have a look. These results we visualize in this table which is called a confusion matrix. On the left here we have our professional sleep EEG device and on the top the aura ring. Now everything on the green diagonal here is predicted the same by both the professional sleep EEG device and the aura ring. And everything that is not on the diagonal is predicted differently by them. And we're assuming that the professional sleep EEG device is correct, so everything that is not on the diagonal is predicted wrongly by the aura ring. Let's take these two squares here, so the 41.3% and the 14.8% as an example. So what this 41.3% means is that 41.3% of my night was predicted as light sleep by both the professional sleep EEG device and the aura ring. But 14.8% of my night, which was REM sleep according to the professional sleep EEG device, was actually being predicted as light sleep by the Aura Ring. But only 7% of my night, which was also actually REM sleep according to the professional sleep EEG device, was also predicted as REM sleep by the Aura Ring. On the other hand, 6.4% of my night, which was actually light sleep, was predicted as REM sleep by the Aura Ring. So if we look a little bit into the mistakes that the Aura Ring makes, we see that it often confuses deep sleep and light sleep. So here 9.9% of my night, which was actually light sleep, was predicted as deep sleep. And what we also see, and I referred to this a moment ago, is that it often confuses light sleep and REM sleep. So that's where it makes a lot of its mistakes. And finally, we see that it predicts way too much time awake. So a lot of the time where I was in light sleep or REM sleep, it actually predicted me as being awake. So overall, the accuracy of the aura ring is about 59%. And honestly, I'd expect this to be a little bit higher, especially because the company focuses so much on sleep prediction. And previously, I've tested some of the competition in the Fitbit, and they got about 70-72% prediction accuracy, so significantly higher. And you might think there's not a big difference between 59 and 72%, but if you think about it, about 60% of your night is light sleep. So if you just predict all nights as completely light sleep, then you also get a 60% prediction accuracy. Now looking just at sleep stage prediction accuracy is a bit of an oversimplification. It's not just about accuracy, but also for instance about sleep cycles. Each night you go through a number of sleep cycles, all of them end in REM sleep and you want to detect those as well. The problem is the Aura Ring is bad at detecting REM sleep, so it actually doesn't pick up on the sleep cycles very well. But honestly I do think the Aura Ring is a beautiful fitness tracker with a lot of potential. It's just not getting the same sleep prediction accuracy as the Fitbit for instance. I was thinking why this was and my suspicion is that it's more a software problem than a hardware problem. So maybe the Aura Ring's algorithms will improve over time and will also improve their sleep prediction accuracy. But only time will tell. But what do you guys think? Do you own an Aura Ring? Do you like it? Is it helping you in any way? Or were you considering buying one and maybe this video helped you with that purchase decision? Anyhow, let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching. Finally, I'm still pretty new to YouTube and making these videos costs me quite a lot of time and energy next to my normal job as a postdoctoral researcher. So if this video helped you in any way or if you liked it, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe and or comment. But of course, it's totally up to you. It will just help the YouTube algorithm show my video to more people. Regardless of what you do, have a wonderful day. This is a waste of time. Push-ups! Now, if you want to know more about how a wearable like your Aura Ring or a Fitbit measures your sleep patterns, 
or how this professional sleep EEG device measures sleep patterns. I made a separate video about that which is either linked here or here. And if you want to know more about sleep patterns and sleep stages, I also made a video about that which is also linked somewhere here now.